Hello and welcome to Our Toronto. Now, the city is playing host to a rare gathering of the best ballet dancers in the world. The Canada All-Star Ballet Gala brings together 17 dancers from some of the world's most renowned ballet companies. It's the brainchild of the National Ballet of Canada's Svetlana Lunkina. And she's about as close to rock star status as anyone can get in the ballet world. This is a rare treat, watching two of the world's best ballet dancers practice a pas de deux called White Swan from the iconic Swan Lake. Dancers Svetlana Lunkina and Evan McKee will perform the Canadian premiere. We're doing a new version of Swan Lake, so we love dancing Swan Lake together, like with the tutu and everything, but this is a different kind of Swan Lake, so it's a contemporary piece where the prince actually wants to kind of learn how to fly with the swan, you know, like it's a, mm. so there's like a buoyancy to it, and it's completely different, and it's contemporary, but with classical music. It's the finale performance for the Canada All-Star Ballet, where 17 dancers from top ballet companies across Europe and North America showcase the best the art form has to offer. I think uh, that it's going to be very special, of course, special evening. And, uh, you know, you will find, if you love dance, if you love ballet, and uh, um, you will find something really special for you, you know, if you love contemporary uh, ballet or classical ballet. And you can come and uh, see your probably favorite work or that, uh, one work that you were dreaming to see, you know, all, all, all your life. And that, it's why I love galas, that you can, you can, I don't know, find for yourself something very special. It's like a, a mix of the best of, so it brings people into our full-length shows that we get to show, you know, mm -hmm. with the National Ballet of Canada, you know, because some of the choreographers work with the National Ballet of Canada, but some of the, our friends from outside don't get to come to Canada, like who are in other ballet companies. So Svetlana brings them to Toronto and then also has dancers from our own company, National Ballet of Canada. So it's kind of like the best of everything. And it's really nice to be like on stage. That's what we like to do. Yeah, to, perform, so. to perform together. It's a passion project for Svetlana, one of the world's most accomplished and celebrated ballerinas. Born and raised in Russia, she was the youngest dancer to perform the lead in Giselle for the legendary Bolshoi Ballet. Now a principal dancer with the National Ballet of Canada, she's dedicated much of her time and effort to organizing the All-Star Gala. How do you begin to decide, how do you curate a program like this? Oh, it's not, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not easy. It? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, really. It's not easy, especially when you have so many favorites work. And, you know, to pick uh, even one work, it's so difficult. But I think also um, it's very important to know what, like, uh, what, what we like to perform and yeah. also other, because I think it's very important uh, to know which work you know you like i don't know you like more it's the second all-star performance in toronto a major accomplishment that the dancers say raises the city's reputation in the ballet world something evan mckee is well versed in the toronto-born dancer has danced with companies in russia france and germany but came home three years ago Ballet is very popular and famous in Russia and, and France, but like especially in Moscow, in Paris, in, in Tokyo, where they're very obsessed with ballet. And in Toronto, you know, we have got a lot of other things going on. Um, and the ballet, people who've been in the ballet have really, really worked hard to get it to where it is now. We have to thank Karen Kane and Evelyn Hart and Rex Harrington and all of these like really big stars who had to really fight for the cultural currency of the country. And that's really why I came back, to work with these people. Evan and Svetlana joined the National Ballet of Canada in 2014. Since then, they've performed key roles for the company. It was a chance union that continues to develop years later. We're still getting to know each other as well. We've danced so many roles together, but each time, like what you saw today in rehearsal, we're talking, we're talking with our bodies. It's completely another language when you're touching each other or moving together. 
It's a different kind of harmony, and I think that's also a big part of what Toronto is about, is that kind of harmony, you know, like managing to work together and to move together and to create, so, you know. And to create together. To create yeah, together, to great. create opportunities yeah. together. All of it helping to raise the profile of Canadian ballet and making it a destination for the best in the world. Where does the passion to do something like this come from? Svetlana, <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> of course. I think, uh, of course. How, Simple, like yes, that. Yes, it's, it's very, because it's, if it's from your heart, so it's, it, it will touch another heart, you know? Mm -hmm. It's, I think, I think it's, it's just what I feel and, uh, and how it should be, you know? Because even if you are doing classical, contemporary, it should be touching, it should be moving, it should be very uh, emotional, very, you know, and uh, it's, it's all about yeah. that. The gala marks the beginning of a very busy season for Svetlana and Evan. They're now practicing for their next performance with the National Ballet of Canada. The pair will dance together in The Winter's Tale, which runs from November 10th to 19th.